Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel and if you are new just go ahead and take that time right now and subscribe and turn on your bells. Now I never y'all glue down the back of my wigs but today I'm going to show you guys how I glue down my 360 lace wig and today's hair is by OMG Her Hair. Now I've worked with this company before and they sent me a bomb wig and they sent me another one of course. And included in my package was those little few items that you see there in the beginning. And here is the 18 inch uh, Kinky Curly 360 Lace Wig. And it already came bleached. Now, this was already bleached, y'all. And it also came pre plucked. But I wanted like that extra, extra natural hairline. So I went ahead and, you know, plucked it some more. But other than that, it was ready to install. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use every product from my brand, starting with the stocking cap. Now, I already used my lace prep alcohol to clean the skin right there. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then I went ahead and spritzed up my back edges and my front edges um, with some... Um, a bed head holding spray and now i'm just going to go ahead and start by taking my beautiful hustler wig cap and quickly show you guys how i'm going to do my ball cap method uh for my 360 wig install so um i cleaned the back of my head as well with the uh, lace prep alcohol because your back has to be clean just like your front has to be for your wig to be laid and secured so right now i just put the wig cap over my head and i stretched it down and i just took some um scissors and slit you know two holes around the ear so that my ears are exposed and now i'm taking my mega size bottle of my lace mail adhesive and i'm also going to take my dual edge spreader and just go ahead and spread that glue out now of course while i'm doing this in the front of my head it's very quick and simple and easy but y'all when you get to the back and you do not have a mirror to help you and you know help you see what you're doing in the back of your head through the camera lens or whatever yeah it might feel like you're doing something in the back but you ain't really doing nothing in the back okay so if you can make sure you guys get like a mirror so you can see in the back of your head and you know um hold it at an angle through the camera through the mirror so you can see what you're doing but i thought i took enough adhesive in the back but i really didn't as far as when i tried to like spread it and stuff but it ended up working out in the long run because all i did was you know spray holding spray on top of that and it would still get your cap to hold so i thought i spread it enough glue in the back i didn't but it is what it is if you could spread enough it's fine but if you didn't either way goes it would still work out because once you take your um you know your head um holding spray from a bed head it will just get you just right so i went ahead and just sprayed that across my hairline in the front and also around the nape area in the back of my neck and once i rubbed that um holding spray in of course i went ahead and blow dried everything on the heat setting and make sure it dries and you know pretty much all the way clear or mostly clear and that way you can begin to uh, cut the extra cap from around your head and you know just make sure it dries long enough that way your cap does not uh, roll up in any way it will actually be secured so I'm just going to go ahead and clip all that extra cap off all around my head so I hope you guys enjoyed this video pretty lengthy but a lot of things to show you so enjoy it So now that we have all that lace cut off, now I'm just going in with my um, makeup brush 
and I'm using my uh, Kiss Foundation in the color Cognac. And I'm just going to apply that foundation all over the front of my wig. And then I'm going to also apply that in the back of my wig as well. So just make sure you guys spread it out nice and even. Ball head. Hey, yeah, I was going to say that. You know what I was about to say, y'all? But y'all get the point. Yes, ball cap is giving the girls baldy. And now I'm just going to uh, go ahead and apply that same foundation to the back of my neck as well. Well, the back of the cap as well. So it can be blended. And of course, after blending that cap, I just went in with some more lace prep and just cleaned up any alcohol that was outside the cap. And now I'm taking my Beautiful Hustler uh, scalp protectant and just spraying that across the front of my hairline and also in the back of my back hairline, I'm guessing, around my nape area. And I'm just going to quickly blow dry, blow dry that on the heat setting. Now, if you read the ingredients in the back of the uh, scalp protectant, it also has alcohol in it to make sure that your um, skin is extra clean and also you know helps you with humidity sweating or anything like that to keep your install lasting longer now i'm just going to go ahead and quickly try the wig on and it fits my head perfectly especially around the back area you know sometimes wigs don't always fit the best to your head shape and this is a medium cap size so it was perfect like it sat right where i needed to sit i didn't have to cut off any extra or anything which is good because i was actually doing this on myself and i would have had no assistance they helped me with the bag so everything worked out perfectly but then i went ahead and took the wig off and went back in with that same cognac foundation and applied it on the inside of the uh, wig so now i'm going back in with my dual edge brush and my um lace mode adhesive and i'm going to begin to apply my layers now i did do uh four layers with this installation but i'm going to show you three because it's just you know repetition over and over but what I, I get this question and I said it before in one of my videos, but I'm going to say it again for you guys today. If you haven't, you know, seen any of my previous videos with my lace glue, you do not have to blow dry it. Now I'm not going to name other companies because, you know, I'm not bashing nobody's business or anything like that at all because, you know, it's their brand, their product. But the, I can tell you the difference between my glue and all the other glues that came way before me. Um, because someone asked, is all white glue the same? And actually is not. As you can see, as I'm applying my glue um, on one side, as once I get to the other side to apply the glue, the glue was already turning clear. Now, I hear a lot of people complain about when they try other glues, it stays white for a long time or they have to blow dry it for the turn clear. And as you can see with my glue, you would not have that issue. Like once you put that glue on there and you spread it out correctly, nice and smoothly and thin, you would not have that issue. It would dry clear before your eyes and you can move on with your next layer, you know, in a timely manner. So that's why I did not do any cutting of the clips for these three layers. I just let you see as I was doing it. And as you can see, as I'm adding the dots, the other side is clearing up right there on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this um, third layer on there. And I did do the last layer off camera as I, you know, I mentioned because I did do four in total. But like I mentioned, you can see clearly right here in this video that this glue takes no time to dry clear. And then once I get that last layer on there and I spread it out and it turns clear really quickly, I will go ahead and tack down my wig. And I will give you guys a big thumbs up to know when your wig is ready to be laid down. It's ready. It's ready. Period. And y'all know the wig is ready to be laid down. It is clear. And of course, after I lay my wig down, I will go in with the girl's favorite, the beauty's favorite, the melt belt. But first, I'm going to take my lace. And because honestly, guys, let me say this before I even get into all of that. Doing your own wigs is hard, okay? Some people say it's easy. It's really hard because how I usually have my clients hold each side of my wig, you know, the wigs down as I do it. You don't have nobody to help you hold it down. So I did this the best way I could. And the easiest way to do this is apply your middle section first, um, firmly press into the lace so it's, you know, it's stuck in the middle. 
and then go ahead and pull each side down give it a nice press i say hold it for about five seconds and then you can go ahead and release it because it's going to be stuck and secure and you will feel the tightness but you want to also make sure that your wig is stretched down completely that way your lace does not ripple so uh just be mindful of that that's a key heads up but once you get your wig where you need it to be just go ahead and tie down your melt belt and you actually don't be lazy y'all i know y'all sometimes we hate to wait and be impatient but tie your melt belt down for 10 minutes just find something to do eat you a snack you know play two songs or whatever and your 10 minutes are up but when you really let that um lace melt sit and you let that melt belt really get your lace into your skin is a major difference and it also saves you some time um during your install because everything will be completely melted and you do not have to go back and re-glue any sections so i let that melt belt sit for exactly 10 minutes and i'm gonna you know i went ahead and removed it and another question i get why do i pull these hairs down before i uh, cut my lace is because everything that's not melted and you will be able to see what's melted and what's not because some parts would be like kind of into you You would see like the lace glue in your lace and into your skin like you would see where it's melted and you can see where it's not glued down and as i mentioned before if you apply your glue and um really follow your natural hairline everything that's supposed to be glued will be and everything that is not glued is not supposed to be so just go ahead and cut it off i promise you you will do it right you will not cut off too much it will be just right so after I parted that section down, I went ahead and just took some scissors and slid it down the center. That way it's easier for me to raise it off. Which brings us to my baby, my new item. Item alert, item alert, my lace glider. And as I showed you guys in my last video with the Lala Birthday Slay, the way you cut the lace off with the razor is way is the way um it's going to give you that most natural result so as you can see i'm on top of oh that looks so good i'm on top of my lace with the razor and i'm pulling the lace down as i'm gliding the lace downward off my hairline and it's getting everything off that does not um, need to be there and that is not glued and everything that's glued and melted is in places intact and it's not going nowhere so as you can see it's tacked down it's very natural it's not straight across hairline it's jagged it's giving a girl's natural tease it's giving a girl's real hair tease period as you can see right there yep so now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those same exact steps to the other side and get everything raised off. So now that everything is off, I just went ahead and rubbed everything in, just making sure everything's in place. It's so tight, it's so firm, and I ain't even glued it back down yet, y'all. But now I'm gonna go ahead and pull down all of the hairs that I will be using for my baby hairs, okay? Um, you wanna pull out a thin section, okay? So you could get like nice, thin, soft baby hairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down. And then uh, once I pull that down, I will go ahead and um, take my, uh, what is it called? I'm going to take my wax stick and also my um, hot comb. And Lala bought me this for Christmas. The Kendra's Boutique um, plug-in hot comb. Y'all y'all know I'm old-fashioned. I go with my Marcel stove and um, my Marcel iron. But baby, this Kendra Boutique is the real deal. I see why Slay by Jordan use it. I asked him about it in one of his videos before. And he told me he got it from Kendra. And Lala went ahead and copped that thing for your girl for Christmas. Thank you, Lala and it is bomb.com like it has really became my best friend like i love that the fact that the hot comb stays on it's hot it's ready i don't have to wait for it to get hot and it's everything y'all so make sure you invest into yourselves and get you one of those but as you can see as i went ahead and parted off my um baby hairs i took some foundation the remaining foundation that was on that brush and i tapped it across my hairline just to make sure everything is super super blended and i went in with my glam wax stick and i also um applied that on my hairline and y'all see that that y'all see that baby kendra's a uh, boutique hot comb and i am pressing out my edges the hairline is very natural giving the girls it's mine 
period. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so now I'm going to take that bed head holding spray and spray across my hairline. And of course, go back in with the beauty's favorite, the uh, melt bell and tie down that lace okay so once i get that lace nice and secure we're gonna be patient again and wait another 10 minutes but it will all be worth it so after 10 minutes has passed i came back on and i'm going to remove the melt bell so you guys can see Ooh, you see me hold on wait get into it right quick yes secure 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 it's giving a girl's life yes period it's mine i started to wear it like this y'all with the hair down and everything <laughs> but no for real y'all let's get back to the slate so now the hard part the part that i couldn't see because i didn't have a mirror but i still made it do what it do my wig is secured in the front so now it's time to secure the back so what i'm going to do and as i mentioned in the beginning i never glued down the back of my wigs but i did want this messy ponytail natural look i see a more jada do these looks all the time and it's the simplest look in the world it's the simplest look to achieve and the way this style did numbers on my socials and it was just nothing but a ponytail y'all like y'all would not believe it but it was so well not was so because i still have it in right now it is so pretty i just it just brought it's like it brought out my features more like my natural beauty just came out more with this messy ponytail look so let me get into telling y'all how i secured the bag now as you can see we already secured the cap in the bag we sprayed that scalp protectant we cleaned it with the lace prep alcohol and it was hard for me to feel if i was applying enough glue so when i tried to apply that first layer and i didn't feel anything what i started to do to make this easier for me i was squeezing the glue actually on the spreader tip and then spreading the glue on that's why it was taking me a minute to get some glue on there because i felt like that was the most effective for me to get that adhesive on there so you know i couldn't see what was in the back of my head of course i would have loved to do it much neater more in place but i made it do what it do and of course um i couldn't see in the back of my head to know if it turned clear but because the glue doesn't take long i just went with the quality of my product and knew it was going to be ready so i applied three layers in the back of my neck and once that last layer was clear all i did was just pull that lace down right into that glue and i'm just taking my blow dryer on the heat setting of course and just blow drying that lace on in now i'm not gonna lie for those of you who do not glue your wigs it can be an uncomfortable feeling simply because your neck will feel tight like whenever you try to turn your head left or right it does not hurt but you can definitely feel the security on the back of your neck like you want to know is there it's secure you feel it when you turn left you turn right you will feel your wig secure to your head but i rather my wig be secure than not secure so yeah we're gonna let mills uh lace made adhesive do his job but anyways um the same way you would do if you have lace lifting in the front um you will apply more glue to wherever you need it to go and of course as i mentioned i did not have a mirror to see exactly where i needed to lay the glue so i had to just pretty much freestyle it at this point and when i did notice just two little pieces on the side um didn't have any glue in that area i just went ahead and applied glue to those areas um, you know, stretched it out, blended it out, and once it turned clear, I went ahead and pushed that lace into that glue. And you guys will see the difference once I actually take it down. It will be melted still, you know, it will be secured, and it will give the girls natural. Now, um, when doing a full lace, it will be easier because you can actually pluck and customize the back of your full lace because it's lace all around. But because this 360 does have that band in the middle, um, and I'm doing this on myself and not a client. I was not able to cut the back of that, you know, cut that band off and just pluck the back of the lace because I wasn't going to be able to see what I was really doing. And, you know, I wasn't trying to mess myself up, especially because we was getting ready to go out, y'all. And I needed my hair up, cute and simple. But, however, that's how it looked once you secure the back. Everything is tacked down. Everything is good to go. So now I'm going to take the melt bell and apply it on the back of my nape area and just tie it down in the front. And I let that sit for uh, 10 minutes as well. So it was nice and secured and, you know, tight. So after that 10 minutes, whoo, it's a lot of 10 minutes in here, but it's all worth it only because, you know, you want your hair to be perfect. So um, after letting that sit, I went ahead and removed that melt bell 
and I said first I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, these baby hairs so um yeah today it's like my eyes wasn't giving me what I needed like my eyes wasn't giving me 2020 vision this day so it was really hard for me to do my baby hairs on camera today so sorry guys you guys won't see it but I do have a baby hair tutorial if you have not seen it already go ahead and check it out the beautiful hustler baby hair tutorial from simple baby hairs to exotic baby hairs and you can see exactly how I achieve my baby hairs but um, I did go in with my lace glider and chop those hair down shorter than an inch and I'm just gonna go off camera and come back on and you know swoop them in my bathroom mirror that way you guys can get the full effect of this style because I could not jack these baby hairs up not today y'all they had to be perfect to pull off this look. So once I got them, you know, in place, I will come back on and show you guys how they look. And I did use that got to be gel. And y'all see the baby hairs. Y'all see it. Yes, 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 yes. Nice and natural thin. I add a little exotic swirl in the middle. And this is what the wig looked like after I took the ponytail down. Now I'm going to actually show you some few quick looks you could have did with this look if you just wanted to install and go. So here is one look. It's no part, free part, and it just fall right in the middle. I threw the hair over to the side if you wanted to do a no side um, curly part type of look you could have did that and if you wanted to do a pushback look you could have done that as well so like I will push the hair to the back of my head but if I wanted that sleek pushback all I would have to do was wet and mousse down my hair and just hot comb it you know a little bit more towards the back but you could have did a pushback look you could have did like a curly ponytail look you could have did whatever you wanted to do and I am going to do that ponytail look but it just would be a messy one. And even when it came to the bang strips that I did in the front of my wig, I did not part them off with a comb to make it perfect. I just went in and just pulled the pieces down. So I'm just giving you guys a visual of how it's going to go. You know, giving myself a visual how it's going to go. And just seeing, you know, how um, it would be. So, yeah, I went ahead and just pulled it up to get like a rough, kind of like a rough draft. Just to see the look we'll be going for. And it actually came out way better than this. So, let's get to it. Let me adjust the camera. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go back in with that hot comb and just sleek the roots out some more, some more. Because I really, really want um, it to be sleek um, as far as the front. I'm not going to add any holding sprays, any products other than my wax stick and this hot comb that I use. Because I don't want it hard. I don't want it crunchy. All I wanted to do is just... Just be yourself. Just be in this natural state. Um, so what I did was just throw my head down. And here was what it looks like all around. All I did was just throw my head down and finger comb all the hair to the top of my head. And I'm just going to grab a two small rubber bands because I didn't have any big ones, y'all. So I just used the two regular small rubber bands. And I pulled the hair through um, that little rubber band. I did not wrap it around two, three times. I just pulled it through that one time. And I just fluffed it out i just let the ponytail just drop and it's so full even though it's 150 percent density and all i did was go in through that ponytail and just pull them two little strips forward like i said y'all i ain't use no comb no nothing i just went in with my fingers put those hairs down and i put a little more extra on that side so it could be kind of you know even and that's all I did. Like, it was really just that simple. That's really all I did. But I did go to the bathroom, and I just took some water on my fingers and just wet the two front strips. I didn't add no water, no mousse, or nothing else to the style. Like, it was just really that simple. Like, y'all see it? Cute, messy ponytail. No effort at all. Like, even if you have your hair installed already, just want a cute, simple look with a curly wig, boom, throw that thing up in a ponytail. But y'all see the transformation? Yes. I was looking too good, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. But I hope y'all learned so much from these videos and it inspired you to try out my products. Um, You can use the link down below to purchase my products. And I'm just going to end this video with my little busted challenge. So, see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.